But hello, y'all. I have a weird combination tonight. I wanted a Popeye. It's hot, and honestly, I forgot about it. In the oven. Try not to put too much water. Try not to put too much water. And, uh, oh, I don't know, y'all. I guess. I don't know if to try this one or this one. Or this one. So. I don't know what I want to eat. And I'm sorry I missed a couple days. I missed a couple days of recording. And stuff. I don't know. I have a weird combination. I got a taste for some weird food. I don't know. Do y'all be like that? Like, and I'm a kind of person. I don't. I hate when people use stuff in. They left something in there. But anyway, I'm gonna I'm try two of these. Okay. I put butter in my water. Hopefully it'll melt. And everything. But I'm going to try two of these. Um, hopefully. I want to go on vacation soon. I need. Uh, I need. Uh, definitely. A vacation. Yeah I put. I like to season my water. And have I ever tried tried this before? No, I haven't. And I'm a kind of person that I just use. Uh, I try different stuff. Do I know what the heck this going to taste like? Because I put onion powder. Now I'm going to put garlic powder. I don't know if I have any black pepper. I don't know because I haven't been to the store. <sighs> I honestly don't know what this is going to taste like, y'all. I don't want to put too much. I ain't going to put no salt in there because I got the seasoning that's going to be in here. I've been having a great, a weird day. I ain't going to say a great day. A very weird day. You know? And just to let you know, I went dollar, uh, went to the Dollar General, and I couldn't find anything at all, nothing at all. And um, I went to different ones, and I couldn't find anything. They hurry up and got that candy out of there. But as you know, I I got it out of my um, what is it? I passed some more out. Y'all. I can't. Uh, I sit here if I don't have nothing to do. Have y'all ever been like. Like. Stress. Did you eat anything in the house? That's. This is what you're seeing. A Popeye. Probably going to be cold. I'm going to have to warm it up. Um, I'm gonna do a cooking show so y'all get two because I'm pretty sure it's almost 12 o'clock. By the time I download this, it will be Saturday. <laughs> I see something I want to do with this too. I want to do something with that. 
It don't have to be this kind. It can be any kind. Is this spicy? Yep. It's spicy. Y'all, y'all do these Dollar General hauls. Just know that uh, you might find something every day. But if my mind was focused and I was able to just look like I really wanted to, I probably could have found something. But I knew they didn't have the candy no more. They did not have that candy no more. They here up, got that candy up out of there. Probably later on in life. I did too. Y'all know I don't eat like that. But I hope y'all having a blessed day. It's late. It's like, uh, it's going on 12 o'clock a.m. Is that how I said? Yeah. It's going on at 12 o'clock a.m. And, um, uh, You know, y'all, y'all have to keep God close. You really do. Because the devil will work in any kind of way. And I know I'm off subject and I don't know where this is going. I don't. I don't know where it's going. And uh, just keep yourself, you know, keep your mind where that you don't do a lot of wearing or a lot of stuff on your mind. Because in this time and day, like with the COVID and things are changing and it's not the same, you can really, oh, it smells so good. You can really kind of get off topic. Uh, I didn't have much left. I have a little bit left. So this is what I'm going to have with my, uh, with my food. I'm going to put it, I think I'm going to put it in the freezer. It's not going to be a lot. Uh, because I had some earlier. I had some earlier, so it's not going to be a lot. That's it. That's what all I have to drink today. I put that in the trash. Have y'all had this? This smells so good. My sister gave it to me. Oh gosh. I can smell the garlic and stuff. I don't know if that's y'all. I'll tell y'all how it tastes. Y'all see the smoke? Probably need to turn it down some. Y'all see me make it on here. I hate when my plates get bumped. I'm going to put this up in the freezer for a minute. Oh. Whew. Yeah. What are you cooking? Why is it smoking? And why is it noodles? It smells good, don't it? Can you smell it? That's good. I don't know if I cooked it too fast. No, I didn't. Not that one. This is spicy. Um, I wanted to do a video what about before it. This one. What about this one? I wanted to do a video. That looks but, good. I just want it raw. Oh, gross. No, I just want it like that. That's I don't nasty. want it with the spicy. What do you mean? That's how noodles are cooked. You know? Sometimes they really cook it raw. Ew, they eat it raw. Sometimes. They eat it like biscuits. Uh, let me see. Hold on, y'all. I want y'all to see what I'm doing. I can't 
sit it too close because I don't want it to get kind of hot. But uh, I always remember to keep God first in everything y'all do. Matters what's going on. Because the devil, uh oh, the devil really been trying to work with me. And I've been fighting it. Not going to do it. Because you know why? God has my back. Can I call your phone real quick? No. So. For TV? Not right now. Thank you. So what I think that I need to do is when the devil tries me, I start a friend and not wearing and keeping him keeping God first and everything I do. Y'all gonna see me make this, y'all gonna see me eat it. I really want to be on a spiritual journey. Where that I think this like don't touch that that's hot no, that is burning up but I really want to be on a spiritual journey where that I don't let oh that was so easy for you so I don't let hard for you well I had to use a fork okay basically and I want y'all continue to use compliment uh, leave me comments anything so i know what else to do hold on y'all 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 see how that is i haven't stirred it up yet y'all see that mm -hmm. i might put some more butter in there mm -hmm. i decided to put the butter in there <laughs> y'all i'm trying to mix it up. My daughter said it don't look so spicy. Yeah. It don't look so spicy at all. But I know this is maybe very spicy. y'all to see this like i said this i have a weird taste for food i'm sorry y'all i really do i don't have like whatever my taste bud is at the moment that's what i'm going to eat it's funny because see this right here chicken and broccoli this right here is what this is weird right have y'all had that when y'all was little taste that before it looks good just spicy yeah i don't know if it is or not i won't know until i actually taste it but yeah so y'all we could go and have this sit down talk and eat with me Hold on just a minute. Turn it on. I hope it don't fall, y'all. Can you make me some lemonade and and peach tea? What you usually making? Yeah. Y'all. Um, it's hot. It was hot, and all my t and I ain't talking about heat hot. It's spicy. Mm. It's good. It got good taste. It tastes good, y'all. Jesus. 
It's hot. Is it that hot? Mm hmm. You put lemonade in there too? Yep. Y'all, penny shopping is something else. You just got to be patient yeah. with it and just. I mean, make sure you got gas. Because I was going to that, going to more than two stores and trying different stores. There's a lot of money into it. Sure enough, you ain't paying nothing but a penny. But when I say that stuff is for its gas, it's expensive because you. Can, and I'm trying. I go to, I go to about eight stores or more. Cause say on Tuesday, I get up at seven something in the morning. I, my daughter she uh, online school, so she do it in the car. So how is it? In the store and stuff like that. It's good. And, uh, y'all, you might find something you might not. You can't be disappointed if you don't find nothing. Because you can't get disappointed, but don't. Because if you find something and you take your time and shop, and scan everything, you might find a lot. Or you might not find nothing at all. So just be patient with it. Different states, different towns might be a little different, but I feel, this is my opinion about penny shopping. Since they said it on the news, it seems like the workers, the manager, are working really hard for you not to find nothing. And it seems like they scan that whole, they scan the whole store, and you're not gonna find nothing. Here. Mm -mm. Oh, y'all. Yeah. It came out. Even here, uh, I seen a blue dot and I ringed it up. It was regular price. Regular price. But when you see a blue dot, constantly um, scan it anyway. Scan it anyway, because it might not. It might be, that blue dot might be a penny. But, I don't understand. I can understand the point where they don't want you to find no pennies. But if you're going to throw it in the trash, come on now. Dumpster divers, what they do? You throw it in the trash, guess what? The dumpster divers get it. For a penny, I remember the, when they did them hats and stockings, I mean uh, gloves and stuff. At that time, baby, clothes. I seen this one dumpster diver. Everything I paid a penny for and millions of more stuff. They got it for nothing. In good shape. In good shape. So, that's what I'm saying. Just be careful.
Just be careful. You still playing it? We watching this movie. What's the name of this movie? Son. What's the name of this movie? Free high. Free high? Free ride. Free ride. So, it's a good movie. It's about four of us, teenager, and a lot of drama. Uh, and well, it's not drama, drama, but it's drama about horses. Like horses getting stolen. It's a lot. It's a lot. That's good. But like I was saying, it's just have patience with the penny shopping. Be patient with the penny shopping. If you penny shop, because I know you don't want to probably dust the die. I kind of do them both when the time comes. I'm just waiting, kind of waiting for the situation, me to get ready for it. So, I ate that. But I love penny shopping. Maybe it'll get hard. And I know the people who penny shop, the real people who penny shop, when there's no penny items to be found, they coupon. They do coupon. I gotta figure out how to do that one too. This is hot. It is hot. But yeah, it's fun penny shopping. But like I said, it's also fun dumpster diving. Just make sure you have on gloves and you got something to pick the stuff up with. Not with your hands. What was it? She don't like me is scared of fly or fly, but she's not scared of ball. He's not aggressive. He is aggressive. Oh, yeah. He bit Becky. Well. When she was five. Oh well. Really? I don't know why my friend, my phone turned off. I don't know. But all I'm saying is be patient with him. When they have something good, or if I find something, I'm going to uh, post it on my channel. Yeah, I feel so blessed. I have 64 subscribers. And you know what I seen? I just thank God for them. 64, y'all. Love y'all. But welcome to the journey of my life. Things I'm going to be doing. I have realized today is that I'm going to go on some kind of journey of my life. It's going to be something else. Uh, sorry. They are super hot. But what I want to do is throw them away. 
I'm going to uh, save them because I can't eat two of these. Who in the heck thought I can do that in a Popeye? Come on now. Get real. Yo, I appreciate y'all posting, but will y'all, like, what else would y'all say? I don't want to do pranks. I really don't. But I, who said I won't? I might try something. I got the, I know y'all, a lot of y'all love my penny shopping. I'm not going to stop penny shopping. I'm going to constantly do that. But I have to have it on the days that they're actually going to have penny shopping going on. And stuff. And I'm going to try to go to, when y'all see this, I'm going to try to go later on today, which is 12 o'clock a.m. It might be after 12 o'clock a.m. But later on after I wake up. Oh, she just put y'all on that cricket, y'all. I'm sorry. But what I got in here is peach, you know, with the little things you put in your water that we got from the penny. I put the peach one and lemonade in there. Now my daughter's like, Mama, here, try lemon mix up. And I thought it was going to be nasty because how it looked. This stuff was good. I put the peach and lemonade in there. And I actually like how it tastes. And stuff. But always, y'all, stay prayed up. Because if the devil found a way to work his way into your life, he's definitely going to do that. Because when everything you think is going okay, or it's going fine, then... But I realize that the closer you get to God, things just start happening. Things just started happening. And I see that for myself. I'm like, oh my God, you know? Well, I got into this movie. But uh, all you got to do is just keep up. Just keep yourself uh, prayed up. And put on the full armor of God. Because it will protect you. So... That's all I say. And stay away from the negativity or things that might you might be going through in your life. Just pray about it. And then everything will work out good. But just leave it in God's hand to take care of it. I believe me, He will take care of it. It's just not on our timing. If we just don't rush everything in life, and I know this video is everywhere, but there's things that's on my heart. It's just as long as y'all just keep God first in everything you do. Pray before you get out of bed. First thing, don't grab your phone, because I got that bed. I grab this phone in the morning. And even though I, I uh, I go to bed to listen to spiritual and stuff like that. I listen to a lot of spirituals at night to go to sleep. And, um, yeah, I'm full. And, but, uh, I wake up to it. So, when I wake up, I click, but I go, I click onto YouTube. Yeah, well, I'm on YouTube, but I click and see what's going on in the other channels, what's going on in their life. And instead of doing that, my goal is to, when I turn my spiritual off in the morning, when I wake up, just get on side the bed, get on my knees, and pray before I do anything. You know, because it works. As long as you put God first in everything you do, 
everything will go fine. Trust me, though. There's going to be some stuff in your life that is not. Like, once you start really serving God, there's going to be some stuff in your life, like, pop up like, dang, man, I was doing good doing this, but this happened. Just keep prayed up. Keep God first, no matter what. No matter what is going on in your life, keep God first. I would tell anybody that. And don't rush God, because he will work it out on his time. Not my time, not your time, but on God's time. And his time is always the right time. Because we can't rush him. You know, because of something might be going on or something, whatever. And then, you know, y'all, and I thought my faith was so good. I did. In my life, I, I was like, my faith is good, my faith is good. But God showed me, no, it's, it's not as good as you think. Because things start going on into your family, then your faith drop. But as long as it's going good with you, if it's something going on with me or outside world, I can just pray about it and leave it alone. Something going on inside my family, I'll be like stressed out. Like, God, do you hear me? Don't don't turn your back on me right now. That's how I be. He ain't turned his back on me. It's just that what I pray for, I have to wait until he answer it. Because sometimes we want him to answer it when we want him to answer it. And that's not how it's going to work. And that's not the way he's going to work. He's going to answer it when the time is right. He know when the time is right. I don't know when the time is right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's my boo-boo right there. But he's going to answer it when he get ready. Not when I get ready. All I do, I stay prayed up. I pray about anything that's going on in this world. You know, uh, just, you know, like I always said in all my videos, the world just don't seem the same anymore. Since COVID 2020, well, let's say 2019, end of 2019, things seems to the end of spring break of, 20, of 2019 till 2020 and stuff like that. The world just don't seem the same. It's a different, it's a different vibe. It's a different feel. It's a different like when you look, it's not the same. Think about before spring break of 2019, how the world was and how it is now. Do it feel the same to y'all? Leave it in the comments down below because to me, it doesn't feel the same, you know? And I just say, stay prayed up. And this is our new normal. You know, but just stay prayed up. Do everything you can because we can't change nothing. So why not just pray about it? Leave it in God's hand. He know more about it than we do. Uh, that's it. You just have to just believe. Like I said, if I'm going to believe in something, I'm going to believe in God. I don't, this world have really taught me, like, you're going to trust in people, but people going to hurt you. God haven't did anything to hurt us. He lets you live your life. And if you choose to do good or you do bad, that's your choice. He's not going to stand over you and say, hey, he's not, he's not going to do that. He's not going to say, oh, you're doing wrong. You know you're doing wrong. You'll get a little feeling in your head like, like when you get that, they say women uh, tuition, or however you say it, and uh, you, when you know something is just not right, God give you that. It, let's go for women or men. When you feel like this don't seem right to me, go with that first thought. God got, got it in you. You just have to pay attention to it. So if something don't seem right to you, don't do it. Okay, but we don't. He don't, God is not gonna come down and say, you know what? Stop doing that. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's wrong. If you know it's in your heart and it's wrong, and you feel like it's wrong, then it's wrong. Not go over like, huh? I want to do this. Whatever it is that you might want to do, and in the back of your head, you know it's not right. What you want to do? 
It could be anything like, I don't know. If something is not going right or you get a funny feeling, please go with that feeling and don't do it. Because that is God gave us that thing where that we know if something is not right, don't do it. We feel it. Just don't ignore it. You know. So, don't expect for God to come down here and say, oh, you did this wrong. You did that wrong. You shouldn't do that. No. He gave us instincts, women's and men's, to feel if things are good or wrong. Is something wrong with this? Or is it something good? But most people, if they feel like, oh, they had a fun feeling, but they'll go through it with it. And that's, they wish they would have went on with they, they wish they would have not done it. But the whole time they had this thing in their head saying, don't do this, don't, don't. They had a fun feeling about it. But then they ignore it and do it anyway. And then in the long run, They'd be like, I don't know why he keep turning around in circles up there. Uh, but they'll go do it anyway. And then they want to blame, like, blame, you know, like, why this happened. Because you didn't go with your first instinct. Go with your first instinct, always. If it's something you want to do and it's something telling you don't do it, don't do it. If you've got that gut instinct. Saying, not a good idea. Don't ignore it. Don't ignore it. Don't do it. And I try to be as straight as possible as I can with everybody. Because the little the stuff that I go I've been through in my life and stuff, I had instincts before I done it. Uh if I done it. You know. You just have to know and work with your feelings. Get to know you. And then you'll know what's right and what's wrong, you know. Because a lot of things, it's easy to do wrong. It's so easy to do things wrong. Then, as people say, it's hard to do what's right. It, you know, it's hard. But it's really not hard. It's just that you want to do what everybody else is doing. It is not for you. Everything you see everybody else do, it's not for you. Like, I'm doing this YouTube. But I got to find out who or what I need to do. Like, who I am. Like, eating, I eat on here because I don't have a big appetite. I don't feel hungry. I do it because I know it'll help me eat. It'll help me put something in my stomach. So I eat in front of the camera. Because if it wasn't for this camera, honey, I'm not going to eat. No. No. I don't know if you get older and the food get... I don't know. But all I say is stay prayed up. This video is everywhere. You know. But the main part of it I want y'all to believe with, with in this is always keep God first. Pray before when you wake up. Pray before you go to bed. Pray in the middle of the... Well, you know what happened? Let's do it like that. Pray in the morning before you... When you wake up. Pray throughout the day. Pray before you go to bed. Yes, you never can pray too much. You know what I'm saying? We out here giving our time and effort to everybody else. But what's wrong with giving our time? God need more than Sunday. He need more than Sunday. What? Can I try something? Yeah, girl, you. Mm -hmm. But God need more than Sunday. You know what I'm saying? He needs your t uh, time every day. He don't ask for much, and he don't hound you. So you gonna serve him or you're not gonna serve him? It's up to you. But it's your choice. What are you gonna do? You gonna serve God or you're not gonna serve him? In my life, the, the growing up and also. What I realize is that I'm going to serve God. And I'm, I'm going to believe in something. You know, like people and kids grow up like, uh, what is that called? Uh, imagination. With their imagination. My imagination always 
was like on God. You know what I'm saying? It was always on God. Like the wind, the everything, everything. Because my grandmother was a preacher and everything. And I was born to believe and stuff. But I didn't need, in my feelings, I did not need nobody to te teach me. Because it was something about me. I felt like, I never questioned, is there a God or if it wasn't. I never had that feeling. So when people say, <laughs> when people say, you know, have those feelings, I'm lost. And it's hard for me to kind of connect like with that. Like, I never, I never had that. And it wasn't put in me. That's the problem. It was the way I was, I guess, born. I never like, is there a God or it's not? Or is it the earth or not? My mind was always on God. And I don't know if I should. I, you know, I don't fear him. I understand he got the right to say if I go to heaven or not. I, 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 okay. If I live right, I'm going to heaven, right? But I never questioned. I never in my life had that question where I hear people say stuff like they question if there is, if it's not. So in my head, I'm like kind of lost, dumbfounded. I'm going to say dumbfounded when people say that. When I hear people say that, I'm like... How can you question that? And up to today, I don't know. Nobody can tell me how to question that because I always know it's a God. I grew up with that. That matter of fact, that helped me to grow up. That feeling that I had that it is a God, it is Jesus. Before I even got into it, really, like. Your, when your parents, before your parents even start teaching you, I already knew, I don't, you know, I'm like, I don't know how to say, oh, who is Jesus? Who is he? Who is he? I never in my life questioned that. I never questioned that. I haven't. And that's the truth. I haven't, never. And I'm sitting here and I'm trying to think, in my life, I never questioned it. I always know in my heart, there was a God. And I used to look out the window when my mom was driving, just looking at the beautiful trees, the land, and stuff like that. That's how my imagination went. It didn't go on imagination of anything else. My imagination was always growing up. God, God, you know? And that's something I never, when I prayed, I always, I was comfortable praying and going to sleep, like laying down, like, and then when I heard you're supposed to pray on your knees, I'm like, okay, I get, that's out of respect, but I had always had a problem with sleeping, so I would pray myself to sleep, and sometimes I wake up, and I be still praying, I don't ask, I don't know how that happened, but it did happen, you know how you go to bed and you're praying? You wake up and you're like, you're still praying and you're like, have I been asleep yet? Because I'm still praying inside. And I, but I realized the more I prayed, the comfortable I was going to sleep. And when I stop praying, like when I go to sleep, like if I forget to pray before I go to sleep, I couldn't sleep. I could not sleep. And so... Some to say, play spiritual music. I would pray, but it was like something kept waking me up as I get old, as I am now. Something kept waking me up. I don't know what it is. One in the best mood. So what I did is I kept spiritual music playing in my home. I found one on uh, YouTube. I will uh, cleanse my home while I'm asleep. It bless you while you're sleeping, but it also cleans your home and everybody in it while you sleep. And I started was able to sleep. 
I was able to go to sleep. So that's why, yes, the Bible is good for everybody to sit down and read it, take time out of your day and read it. But I have so much experience on one on one with God. Uh, I go to, I was, well, before 2020, I was in church. <clears throat> and I miss church. I, I miss church so much. But I'm going to wait until next year to go back to church. Let all this stuff go. And then uh, get back into church really strong and stuff like that. I, you know, this is so everywhere. Y'all, these are just my feelings at night. And I'm so, that's why I say, y'all got to give me a comment. You know, give me something to talk about. Uh, do y'all understand what I'm trying to say? Because to me, it's everywhere. I tell y'all about Dollar General. I tell you to stay prayed up. And I mean that with all my heart. I don't care who, from kid to grown people, whoever watching it. Just always if, pray. Stay prayed up. Pray for your family. Pray for your loved ones. If you think it's helping or not, just do it. So, this is what... Uh, I think I came on here to say I don't think I know I came on here to say stay prayed up no matter what's going on in your life what's going on in your life pray pray don't worry about what other people are doing in their life pray for yourself pray for your family you can't go wrong you cannot go wrong with a prayer but be serious about your prayer don't be like oh i'm gonna pray but i don't know if jesus is gonna answer this prayer or not it's not for you to know once he said bring your cares to him that mean bring your problems to him leave them go on with your day go don't you know of course we're gonna think about things but go on with your day you know what i'm saying It was weird because when I don't do what I'm supposed to, like, when I don't pray or I forget to pray, understand I pray throughout the day, but if I fall asleep, like if I'm so tired and I fall asleep and don't pray, I feel so empty inside. I feel so empty. And you know what? And I'll be like, God, you know what? I'm sorry. I missed the prayer. I fell asleep or something like that. He always come back with something that I'm feeling or I'm going through. He leave a message into, in it could be a song, a person I done talked to, said something that got my attention. Let me know it's okay. You know, I'm going to be okay. You know, you just got to just hold on. Because this world is, I mean, will eat you up. This world will eat you up. Well, you think you got it all together? This world will eat you alive. Got it? Believe in something, believe in God. Please put him first. Please, you can't go wrong. I'm, you know. Can you take that to the kitchen, please? And this too, please. Because y'all all fit to go to sleep as soon as I download this. I'm going to download it, girls. And guys. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna download it. But what I want to say at the end of this, thank y'all for 64 people who is on this journey with me. Don't know where it's going, but y'all are giving me an opportunity to share a part of my life with y'all, even with family. If y'all looking at this, keep watching. Because this is going to be a journey that's going to be great. It's going to end great. It's going to be great. You're going to see some ups. You're going to see some downs. But believe me, it's going to come on top. Because you know why? I don't, I don't care what I go through. I'm going to hold on to God. No matter what. You know? So...
it's going to be a journey and I appreciate every 64 of y'all who's here with me right now who watch this or don't watch it you clicked on you subscribe or not subscribe I appreciate you I thank you because you know what with y'all on this journey with me it's going to help me do better it's going to help me to eat probably eating get better I'll be able to hopefully be able to travel hopefully do a lot of stuff I want to see I want to do a lot and I just even though this video right here don't is confusing probably all my videos is confusing because I'm not used to talking to a phone or a camera whatever you want to call it I'm not used to it this is me this is the true me I don't edit I don't know how mm -mm. this is me so the journey of my life is that I want to lose weight I want to do it the right way my journey is to fix me up uh, to be able to conversate like with y'all and stay on one subject like y'all see me I'm, I'm everywhere right now it's because I'm not used to communicate with nobody but family and they don't talk I don't do that much talking. They, they ask me something. I tell them something. That's about all the conversation we're going to have. You know. <laughs> you know. I don't have to sit and carry a conversation like I'm trying to do with y'all. That's something I didn't. I don't have to do. Because I can ask, ask, answer your question or I ask the question. But besides that, I'm done. I don't talk. I don't do a lot of communication. I do more watching than communicating I do a lot of laughing then communicating because my laughter is communication you know so what y'all gonna see me is what y'all gonna see not on the penny shop and not dumpster just dumpster diving not just penny shop not just dumpster diving not just eating not just blogs y'all gonna see me change my life around spiritually better myself the best way I know how and I thank y'all because y'all gonna help me do that please leave in the comments and you know y'all I want and I always say this in a lot of my videos what cream can I get to tighten up my face y'all say get more sleep I can try that I do sleep, but I like, I go to sleep, like, let's say I go to sleep at 2, I'm going to wake up at 5. Or uh, if I don't wake up at 5, I'm definitely going to wake up at 6. And then I have a problem going to sleep. So, my thing is, I want something to tighten my face up. I'm 53 years old, but I know that I can work on me a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, like I said, it's a journey of fixing me up, clothes-wise, uh, Cause like y'all see me, I'm in a Christmas shirt. That's just me. I, I love t-shirts. I don't care if it's Christmas or whatever. I feel like I spend my money on it. I don't care Christmas go throughout the year. So yeah, leave comments. Like I don't care what they are. As long as you're speaking from your heart, or you leave some emojis. And if you don't like the video, tell me why. And stuff like that. Because I'm pretty sure everything I put out, you're not going to like. And this video is so darn long. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm fit to go. I am fit to go. I'm fit to go. And I am a silly person. So, therefore, you would know that when you... I don't like being serious. I like having fun. So, y'all just get ready for this journey. I got my teeth done. Y'all seen that. And like uh, I want to work on my my weight and start working out. I want to go work out, but I don't know if the places are open yet for workout. And I don't like working out, but I need to. So I'm going to do that. And uh, 20, 2021, 2022 is going to be a very spiritual journey. So I hope y'all can stick along there if you can leave, leave some good comments in there or whatever comments you feel but it's going to be a, a strong spiritual 
uh, journey. You know, so let's just see where it goes, okay? I'm new at this YouTube, so hey, like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friend and family. I know I'm boring. It'll get better. God knows it will. And uh, I love everybody. Stay prayed up. Keep God first. Think about your your health, your life, everything. Just stay safe. Okay? Bye-bye. I'm going to put my finger right here to stop it.